Rocky here and today's video is a really exciting video and why you must ask is it exciting because it is my annual what I got for Christmas slash what I got for myself because I spoil myself probably more than I give which is a shame no just kidding I gave a lot this year and I'm in debt now so there's that and I feel like I have a shopping addiction now so there's that too it's also an exciting video because there's nobody in the house which is a really, really freaking nice change because I'm usually kind of shy. You guys know when my dad kind of walks by the door, I'm like, are you leaving? Are you there? Because I don't know, or even if my mom walks by or anyone walks by because they don't really know what I do. They don't know that I have fun filming. So this year was a really, really good Christmas and I appreciate everything that I've gotten. I don't think I really want to say who got what, except for like maybe my mom and stuff like that. Just because I don't really want to name drop any people. And also a lot of people got me gift cards and stuff like that and I don't want to be like, this person got me a gift card because it's just like... I don't know maybe um, some people will probably say some people I probably won't say but this is the stuff that I got and I'm really excited to kickstart this video so let's do this thing also just want to say that my parents don't really buy me much I'd be grateful if you know I'm out and my mom will buy me a coffee so one time a year where they like kind of spoil me it's like you know it's what I look forward to, I'm not gonna lie. They got me like a decent amount of stuff and I'm super grateful for what they gave me, but I'm just like, are you sure? Like you can take this back because <laughs> that's a lot of money. Not to say that I didn't spend just as much on them, if not more, but you know, when you're older, it's more about you giving the gifts to your parents. I don't want to keep going on because I want to show you guys these really cool stuff. So I'm gonna get right into it. Let's go, let's do this thing. I'm gonna start off with my stocking stuff and like the stuff that people got me and then I'm gonna go into the stuff Stuff that I got myself because you know your girl got a lot of stuff so with my stocking the only things that could fit into it were like socks and stuff like that so I'm not really sure what things are gifts or what things are supposed to be in my stocking but I'm just gonna kind of show it all so stocking and all this is everything this is how it is let's start off with socks okay so goddamn I got a lot of socks uh let's go through them really 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 quickly first ones are the fuzzy socks I'm sorry you can't go wrong with the fuzzy socks I ask for these every year because I really love them they are perfect for winter time especially and they just feel so cozy and cuddly on your feet and I freaking love them and she left the price tag on them I love a good bargain I guess she got them for three dollars which is so good you go girl you go honey you get that deal uh the next thing more socks yes but these ones are different these ones aren't as you know cuddly and cozy but they're cute like they got a penguin or, that's not a penguin it's an owl there's another owl same thing and then this one's really cute and it's a panda bear because yeah pandas are cute and also I go to the zoo a lot and the main attraction right now is the pandas and they're gonna be shipped off to I think they're going to the states next I could be wrong and then they're gonna go back to China where they came from so we don't have much longer with the pandas at our zoo but yeah they're really cute so I really like them and I guess that's why she really went on the theme of the pandas because the next thing I got is this big long dress shirt sleep PJ shirt thing and it is so cute and it says the snuggle is real because the snuggle is real the next thing that I got I actually was like on the hunt for I was actually on the hunt for a different one but now I'm starting to kind of appreciate this one that she got me I was like originally looking for a really huge umbrella that was like clear and then now that I'm thinking about it she got me this one here and I assume it's from Costco because I think I read the back and it said something like Costco on it but you know Costco is like like on their A game with like stuff that you didn't know you wanted that you wanted you know what I mean or like if you wanted a pen they'll give you like an ultra pen and so that's how I feel about this it's an umbrella it's like the umbrella you never knew you wanted kind of umbrella and basically it's the ultimate umbrella do you see what I mean like they make it like the ultimate I didn't even know that it was called the ultimate umbrella but you know what I mean like the ultimate pen the ultimate umbrella it says it's super strong so that's good vented wind resistant 
Canopy, okay. Nanum skin water repellency, that's really good. And an automatic open and close, and it's recycled fabric, so that's really dang good. I haven't opened it yet. Hopefully it's like a good size and stuff like that. It looks like a really good umbrella make, I don't know. The next thing that I got is um Helva. It's in a plastic bag because this stuff is super, super greasy, but like in a good way. It's not like bad for you. This is actually really good for you. This is like what I crave or like what I eat when I'm on my diet and it's because it's sugarless it's made from sesame stuff it's pretty much like a really good cheat food and it's not a cheat food if that makes sense the next thing that i got is this ultra spa pedicure kit my parents have one and i'm grossed out by touching anything that's like not mine i don't know i got my own which is super good because my feet are disgusting i'm not even gonna sugarcoat it or whatever my feet are gross like this girl be stomping everywhere and you know don't take care of her feet like so this is really good this is gonna be really handy really useful hopefully i have baby soft feet in the future because right now they are pretty gross the next thing that i got is something that i picked out myself Emma was like gonna buy it and then my mom was just like I'll just buy it because I really need more things to put in your stocking and I was like I really really like the element of surprise I like this the whole Christmas vibe and stuff like that I was kind of bummed out that like you know something that I knew I was getting but whatever this is the cutest ish ever and right now let me just explain what it is so it says hello beautiful and pretty cursive and then it's like very dainty looking and super super cute and it's ceramic and it's just where you put your light switch you know like and currently the light switch I have which I'm not gonna show you in front of me but it's a Hannah Montana one and not that I'm hating on Hannah Montana because I love Hannah Montana I will quote Hannah Montana quotes forever and a day and I will rewatch episodes as long as I live and I will love Hannah Montana and I still jam out to her songs every single day I'm like still the biggest Hannah Montana fan but it's just not you know going with my room and stuff like that not that my room is pretty classy to begin with but you know it's like I just wanted a new light switch I've been looking for one for the longest time so I'm super grateful that I got that even though I did know about it carrying on with gifts that I already knew that I was getting every year I pretty much get this but I literally told my mother to get it like I was at the warehouse sale with her and I grabbed like three of them and two of them I was buying and I was like here you go buy me this because she buys me this every year and you can never go wrong with pink sugar perfume because I wear it literally every single day like 10 sprays everywhere every time I walk out that door I go through bottles like they're freaking candy pink sugar is like my ish like it's my perfume it's my signature scent and my mom was also looking for more stuff to put in my stocking so of course they just handed it to her and I'm like buy me it the next gift that I got is this here and this is a hey Arnold collector figurine set I asked for this I kind of knew I was getting it I was hoping for it this is my freaking childhood I have another one of these but I'll show you it a little later this is like Nickelodeon when Nickelodeon was like popping like you know what I mean like every show was like my ish I can't even explain to you how much Nickelodeon shows mean to me they truly were like my happiest of times this means a lot to me you guys know that I love collectibles and figurines and stuff like that my room is pretty much full of them I don't need any more but I'm obsessed the next three things that my mother got me mind you like my mother meaning my mother picked it out but like both my parents pay for it you know what I mean but the next three things that my mom picked out are again kind of my theme if you guys know my theme every year I get some skull related thing and I don't hate it I love it and she told me that she wasn't gonna pick me up that many skulls this year because she knows that I have way too many and my room was getting pretty dang crowded she told me she was gonna stop with it but she did pick me up three small ones the first thing that she got me is this cutie freaking right here and he's like in a suit and he's a mini skull like guy and he does bend he's cute i really like him he's definitely staying in my room somewhere yeah the next thing that she got me that is skull related is so freaking cool it kind of reminds me a little bit of like game of thrones and like medieval crap and if anyone knows me which i don't think i've ever said this before medieval stuff is my life i grew up on like obsessed with medieval times i feel like i was someone special 
girl in a past life who was like in the medieval era but she got me this mug here and it, this is the coolest thing ever because it does remind me a little bit of like medieval times and stuff like that but it's also a skull and it's really cool and I was eyeing this at the store and I guess you should notice can't go wrong with getting me anything skull the last skull related thing that I got is something kind of crazy I don't even know how to show it let me let me pull it up for you I call it a totem pole it's really long let me try to get it in frame yeah she got me this so this is the very top of it it has feathers poking out of its head and it looks like this scary kind of looking thing and my first freaking comment was uh is that real not like real but like is it real because i don't want to die i don't want this to be hexed or enchanted or part of someone's witchcraft and then they pass it on to me and it's like a magic totem pole and it's gonna kill me in the middle of the night she was like no 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 like i'm pretty sure that it's like fine pretty sure is like risking my life but whatever because this looks like something that might be cursed nonetheless it is freaking cool i actually really like it right away when like my mom like gave it to me my dad was like why do you buy her this crap this is stupid and i was like this is everything this is so cool i don't know where to put them somewhere in a corner obviously but <gasps> i feel like one of those island people who like poke people with the cool sticks and they're like <gasps> <gasps> Coco Mango! <gasps> you know, like, um, what's that guy's name? Ba 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 bear. Dave ba bear. Is that what it was called? I don't know. I think that's Nickelodeon, too. <sighs> And then my parents also gave me a decent amount of money, which I'm so confused on because they really didn't have to do that, especially with the gift that they got me. And it was like my major, major gift. So basically they got me a gold necklace for my chain. I got my name in Arabic and gold and I ended up returning it because they got me it basically knowing that I was going to return it because I need to go out and like get the right size and like pick the one that I want. Crazy and amazing and I'm so thankful for that. But they like knew that I was going to return that necklace but they were like I really wanted you to open up to make sure that you knew you were getting that which I thought was so cute so I don't have it here they honestly shouldn't have and I'm very very thankful for it and I was definitely blessed this year <laughs> other things that people got me and not many more things that I have to show because literally everyone got me money gift cards and stuff like that which I so 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 appreciate because that's like half the fun for me is like shopping the first thing that I um, got from like someone other than like my parents is this bobby brown like makeup the perfect coffee table book you would say and like they teach you like tips and tricks showing you different things i thought this was such a cool gift because you guys know i love makeup and you guys know i love to do my makeup i'm really looking forward to tips because i'm always looking forward to tips especially about contouring my nose like please tell me someone if i did it okay because it usually looks like a mud mess on my nose and <laughs> I'm definitely gonna read through this, glance through it. It's a pretty solid gift to give someone who's like obsessed with makeup, so. And then like the last tangible thing that I got from someone is this really cute Bath and Body Works bag. It says nice and then naughty on the other side. And it's pretty, it's glittery, it's gold. The glitter does not come off, which is... <gasps> This tree here literally looks like the poop emoji, but like they added a stem and made it green. Do we not like agree? Like that is literally the poop emoji. I see what you're doing, Bath and Body Works. You're trying to put poop on my bed. But this gift was actually so perfect in a weird way because every Boxing Day, I basically run into Bath and Body Works and I'm like looking through like their bags. And you guys know that I got one last year and I love it to the point where I was like so excited to get a new one. And when I went to the Boxing Day sale, like they had no cute bags and I was like, oh, like that's okay. Not that I need a new bag, but like I carry so much makeup with me when I go to someone else's house that I literally need two big bags because I'm insane. So I like, kind of was like justifying. I'm like, I do need a new bag and they have like really cute bags so I'm gonna buy it. And then they didn't have any and then someone got me this one so I was like, oh my god, like I was wanting this and it's a cute bag. So yeah the first thing that is inside of it can't go wrong vanilla bean noel who doesn't like that scent this is the hand lotion pretty dang big and then the hand sanitizer that goes along with it then the next one is the winter candy apple i used to not be a fan of the scent of this and then now i'm like oh my god it smells amazing it smells like an apple 
apple. Who doesn't like the smell of apples? This one I started using so far. I haven't opened the other one, but this one I've been using kind of a lot lately. I'm really dry. It's winter. It's cold. I live in Canada. That's how it is. And then obviously the sanitizer to go with that. Such a good freaking gift. I'm thankful for it. Hopefully I can get through all the other stuff because I got a lot more stuff to go through. Let's quickly go through this. Along with the other figurine set, I love Rugrats. Here they are. Here is the Rugrats collector figurine set. I think Rugrats are more hitting home with me in terms of like what I love more as opposed to Hey Arnold or Rugrats. Rugrats were my tried and true. They were pretty much like all my birthday parties. Growing up, like I remember my mom hand painted an Angelica backpack and shirt for me. Like I was obsessed with Rugrats. I love every character. I relate so much to them. They're literally my childhood. Love this. This is cute. Angelica is like in the cutest pose ever. I would expect nothing less. Tommy with his ball. Literally wouldn't expect anything less. Chucky is like the amazing and then you got Phil and Lil being gross as they always are. One of them's holding worms like ew bye. You can get it at Walmart. And I bought this myself. And then that's when I saw the hair on old one. And I was like, hey mom, pick up the hair on old one because I'm about to if you don't. Speaking of Walmart, Boxing Day sale, I got these on sale. These are just cool white LED lights. I don't know I'm going to string them around somewhere, but love Boxing Day sales. You get the sales. You get the box. Also from Walmart is this huge Revlon set. It comes with a strainer, it comes with like three brushes, it comes with like hair clips and hair ties and everything. This was originally 25 bucks and I got it on sale for half off. So like 12 bucks for a strainer. For all these things, not that I need a strainer because I have a really, really expensive strainer that I use every single day, but this one's really good for I guess travel and like I'm gonna leave it at someone else's house so that I don't have to keep traveling my, you know, expensive straightener everywhere. This is super perfect for me. So it was on sale and I was like, oh my God, I get everything that I ever wanted and more. This is like a no brainer. I was like, why aren't people picking this up? This would be such a good gift for other people that have ratchet hair that need to straighten it, you know? Next place I went to, I don't know the name of the store, but I went to like this little like Asian store and this is the coolest thing ever. I look like such a Bob the Builder-esque. Um, it's just like a screwdriver that has like every screw you could think of and it's lightweight. It's super handy. It pops open like this. Oh my god, I'm set. Always in my room. I need to open things and like use screws and stuff like that. And then I have to go downstairs, ask where the freaking screwdrivers are or ask my dad to help me with some tools and I have to bring them up here and then I'm so lazy because I forget to bring them down and then someone needs it and I'm like away and then they're like mad at me and like, mm, you know, it has literally every screw in there and it was like dirt cheap. It was like five bucks or something or like less than that then i went to nyx and i picked up a couple things the first thing that i got is this nyx crease brush it looks like this i did use it uh if you see a little bit of pigment flying out that is why i haven't really i've only used it once so i can't give you a good description on how i like it i got it because it kind of reminded me of the anastasia modern renaissance palette the brush that came with it it's not quite the same but i was hoping that was i still have to play around with it it's still a really good brush but you know what i mean i really really like the anastasia one i just wanted like an extra one of it the next thing that i got is this butter lipstick in seashell and it is the cutest freaking color ever like look how pretty this color is i wanted this on my lips so bad and then i swatched it and it is so sheer like, i was expecting it to be like opaque matte i don't even know like i assumed all these were matte I, that was really dumb of me it doesn't give the best pigment on your lips it kind of makes them look a little weird i'm most likely gonna just like give it to my mom i also picked up this intense butter gloss in peanut brittle needed a retouch. I was watching someone and they were raving about this lip gloss and I really do like the lip gloss. Been wearing it a couple times not gonna lie. I already opened it or used it. This is what I'm wearing right now. My lips are so chapped. They were bleeding like not that long ago. So gloss is kind of the way to go right now. And it's like a really pretty color. The next place that I went to is the I seen on TV store thing. But they were selling Morphe stuff there. Like everything Morphe. You know I always hear people rave about Morphe but I don't really know. I don't really care to be honest but I know it is a good brand and make and whatever and then I saw these eyeshadows and there was a lot more but like this one was like more of the cheaper one and it had everything that I wanted 
I'm so happy that I got it. It is so freaking pretty. It's like glittery shadows. These are really perfect to put on your lid. A lot of rose golds in here and golds and that is totally up my alley as you guys know. And if you guys are curious, there is no name on it. So too bad. I think it was called the Sunrise or something like that palette. I could be wrong, but it says 12S on it. I highly recommend it. It's really pigmented, really pretty. I like it. The next place that I went to is, of course, Sephora. This is my first time buying the all-nighter setting spray. So far, I really like it. Hate the smell. It smells like disgustingness you know i definitely noticed a difference on my face i really like this stuff i think i sprayed way too much for my budget because i go Pfft. and then i'm like crap how much was this 40 <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> let me spray one time it's a good product expensive as hell for like water but like it's the good kind and then i picked up this it's a repurchase it's the mark jacobs remarkable foundation i've told you guys how much i love this i'm in 12 ivory i picked it up because my other one's kind of almost done and and I can't see my life without this foundation anymore. I used to only wear drugstore and now I'm like, crap, I can't go back because it covers up a lot of my redness and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then the last thing that I got from Sephora, I got it on Boxing Day. And it is like this Becca set. And I've already opened it. I'm kind of was disappointed when I opened it. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Because look how freaking tiny this sample is. I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> Give me this tiny sample. Uh, it's insanely freaking tiny. I love how it has a mirror. Like, oh <laughs> my... I can barely even see anything. It's so freaking tiny. Um, it is in the shade Opal, Becca, whatever. And then there's the Becca backlight priming filler, whatever. I haven't tried this. I did swatch the highlighter. I was gonna return it and I was like, no, just swatch the highlighter. You might like it. Swatch the highlighter and I was like, <gasps> this is amazing so good i understand now why it's so tiny because they probably put a lot pack in this punch it's so good i i'm so impressed it's kind of everything that i wanted for a highlighter so i'm really happy that i freaking got it and now i don't want to return it but it does look a little sketchy when it's the tiniest size of life and i'm just like please come on i paid 20 bucks for these two and you give me this <laughs> like i get it like high am still still like i'm just like mm. but you guys it's so pretty this is so exciting for me and so many levels i love gabby from like nikki and gabby i love nikki too but like gabby is where it's at she's gorgeous i love her style i love everything even though i don't look like i would like her style and stuff like that i absolutely love her style she's so pretty and princessy like i love that and so i watch all her vlogs and she always raves about this devolve radiance spin care system and goes on about it and then i've looked up reviews everyone likes it and then she was like giving a discount although there was a cheaper discount if you were doing the black friday sale this is originally 90 bucks and i got it for like 20 bucks and then i had to pay for shipping and stuff like that so it came around to 40 bucks but it was originally 90 bucks and i know spin care systems as it is even like the lower scheme ones are like 40 i'm gonna buy it and i need one i've been wanting one of these for years when i was younger my mom had one i wanted one for my own and when i was younger you know just don't really care about skin slowly getting into the skincare i've used this a few times and the first time i used it i was so blown away and it's really good to see that a product that a youtuber you know pushes is actually really good and i was so excited for that the customer service was good because there was like a little bit not mishap but not in stock even though i already bought it and i was just curious about like i don't really care when i comes but i was just curious right away they answered they were super polite like customer service was great it made my skin feel amazing i have nothing but really good things to say about this i highly recommend it i really really like it i've used it and i can vouch for it after a couple times of using it if that doesn't say anything i don't know what does i got this backpack it is from the gap i don't ever shop in the gap but because i had a 25 dollar coupon if you will so i went to like treat to the bags and like accessory section and I've already been looking at this online and this is it this is just a clean all black velvet to the touch and it is just this really cute like mini backpack but this backpack holds a freaking ton you could fit a lot in here perfect size perfect amount of what I can put in there so that is everything that I got I did make a haul video that I haven't posted yet I think I want to post this video first before I do in the haul video I showed that I bought myself the new iPhone 8 Plus 
plus and this is it i want to include it in my christmas thing because honestly this is the biggest gift that i've gotten myself and i've been wanting it for years i've always wanted the iphone there's always been reasons why i didn't and a lot of it's just the money issues because who spends this much on a phone i do i justified it and i really am justifying it because there's so much i want to do and so much i want to accomplish so now i have a phone that's like extremely good quality it is everything that i wanted i can use it for my school and my work because i'm in the video production photography world and it's just good for everything and it was a lot of money but i'm super excited i'm love it i'm super thankful for it i just have this case that i got from walmart literally the first case that i kind of saw don't really like it i've ordered a bunch of cases on ebay for this phone and when they come in i will show you guys because they're super freaking cute so waiting on that okay that's everything i think that i got for christmas i hope you guys all had a good holiday i hope you guys had an amazing new year i hope 2018 is just as good for you as it is for me you know i'm not really starting off 2018 in a very good way but i'm definitely making plans to better myself and everything like that so i have high hopes for 2018 and if you guys want i would really appreciate if you could follow me on instagram and snapchat at rocky's rebels if i have any other information i will leave it down below if you guys want to become part of the rebel family then hit that subscribe button and put on your push notifications because i'm gonna start trying harder i'm busy with school and stuff like that but i really am wanting to really do better i say this every time i'm so sorry but it is true i have high hopes for my life and then you know it's all about the trying factor okay thank you guys so much for watching and until next time